So just a quick update now on uh, what's going on with nozzles. Um, anyone who's been looking at the website will have noticed that there hasn't been stock in for quite a while. Uh, and the reason is I've been so busy with the cabinet builds and some different prototyping um, that I haven't actually had the time to build up a, a decent stock. There will be a couple going up shortly. Um, now just a couple of other updates. Um, as these are the the straight types I've been doing a lot more of these um, as opposed to the original type um, from what I've gathered uh, from the testing that I've done between them um, they're practically the same performance wise um, I haven't actually really opened them up a whole lot uh, these ones here have gone up to a four millimeter air jet and run it on my last compressor my large compressor and they handle really really well um, and there doesn't seem to be any real advantage um, by going to the Y type uh, flow wise um, and because there is less machining involved in these ones um, I've been pumping out more of those um, I will have some of these coming out shortly um, but I kind of just do them piecemeal as I'm doing other stuff um, and I'll just slowly build up a few of them there'll probably be maybe five or six of those ready to go um, these ones here I've had a few people ask whether or not I can make them with a larger slurry inlet so there will be a few of those going up with the 16 mil or the 5.8 slurry inlet um, but again I've gone right up to the four millimeter um, so it's really just a um, repa replacement if you're already plumbed for um, the 5.8s or 16 mil um, the other thing is um, a lot of people with these have been trying to put the um, brass hose barbs in them give them a bit better life and um, the original one was designed to use these these hose barbs here and they're very small so you can actually get two of those in without too much issue um, but obviously everywhere in the world's not going to have the same size hose barbs <clears throat> and people were having trouble finding them that would fit so i've gone and redesigned um, basically just upsized it and opened those gaps up um, as you can see this type of hose barb there is larger and you can now fit two of those um, inside that and it's also a little beefier um, so they're less likely to break through the ends. so the reason I hadn't put them up until now is I hadn't done much testing um, and now uh, having gone through and done the testing they work um, just as well as these ones if not better these are very light compact um, and good if you've got a very small cabinet um, but there's not that much of a difference by going to these ones um, they're just as comfortable in my opinion to use um, so I'm looking now, this one here, I don't know if you can see in there, um, the whole center part is 3D printed. That's why you can use these, the style hose barb. This one here uh, is actually open right the way through. And then I use the same sort of um, fitting in an air needle uh, as I do on those ones. So I don't know if you can see, if I just go, there, you can't really tell, but if you look down this end, you can see there's aluminium in there so aluminium in that one and that one there if we can get some light in there as well maybe not um, is just entirely 3d printed so what i'll be doing is on the 3d printed nozzle files um, i'm going to put both files there so you'll be able to print all the the nozzles um, the hose barbs uh, and also the centerpiece so you can choose between the the original one or the chunkier one the advantage with the chunkier one as i mentioned is you can put in uh, brass hose barbs and there it's easier to fit larger barbs in there um, just a note with this one if you're printing the plastic hose barbs there are two types there's this one here with a larger hole about nine millimeter hole um, and then there's a smaller one with a with a four or five millimeter hole and the reason that's there is because you've got plastic threads going into a um, plastic threaded body um, and they're just a bit weaker than the brass so by restricting the hole in the back there it's restricting the pressure between the barb uh, and the body and you're less likely to blow it out so it's just important if you're using all 3d printed stuff um, to put the smaller print the smaller barb and put it in the the air side um, and just one other observation, I've just finished um, 
making another one of these so i just upgraded the hose barb from the steel one to a brass one and then the air jets that are inside of them i've just remachined another one out of aluminium um, and decreased the hole size also those as you can see down there is drilled very unevenly so um, that can create performance issues um, so i've just done that but one thing i noticed is while i've been making these i've been cutting a groove in them for an o-ring um, because in the past when the first one that i made um, and some of these nozzles that I've been using even as steel in a vapor, a vapor blaster um, They're actually blowing all the water straight out of the back of them as well So I ended up cutting a groove in them on the lathe for an o-ring and one thing I noticed when I bought this next lot of guns So I, I put out that video of upgrading these um, probably six or eight months ago now um, And since then I've ordered some nozzles probably a couple of months ago and they've turned up like this so now I don't know if it's all of them, it certainly is the case for the ones that I bought a um, month or so ago, whenever it was. Um, they now have an o-ring groove in them um, and they look like they're zinc plated as well. I don't know if the plating's better than previous. Um, you can see pre the previous ones already started to corrode and everything so I don't know if they've upgraded the, the plating. It looks better um, but they may have a slightly longer life uh, in a vapor blaster now with that uh, if possible I'd still replace it for stainless steel or for for aluminium um, but it's just interesting to see that recently they've started putting these in maybe it was just the old batches that I was getting but they've come from the same supplier um, and yeah as I say now they've got that o-ring groove in them um, so uh, it's probably just a happy coincidence but now if you check that you may just be able to improve your gun slightly just by whacking an o-ring in there um, and stopping it spraying everywhere and then again just check make sure that that's straight as possible they seem to be better probably still a little bit large for what you need but I have heard of people just filling them with weld and then redrilling them and having decent results um, but yeah I thought that was interesting so now you can get um, you can get those guns put an o-ring in them and hopefully with that coating on them they last a little bit better I'll probably still replace the grub screw because they seem to be one of the first things to rust out it's just a nice little 304 stainless one um, but yeah it'd be nice to see them actually using stainless or something so um, a stainless there and um, brass hose barb maybe and they'll be able to use these as um, straight out of the box as vapor blaster guns especially if they make the the uh, air orifice a little bit smaller um, so I just thought that was really interesting um, so yeah there's the update and uh, thanks for watching